Today I will show you how to make the sketch revealing effect only using free software. You will need Twitter and a video editing program of your choice, and of course, a graphic tablet. In a nutshell, we need an image to trace. In order to do that, I have the sketch of this TV on one layer and Twitter, and as you can see, I have a background layer which is white by default which will work perfectly for us by the way so you don't have to change that the only thing you need to do is to lower the opacity of the layer that you want to trace make it around three or four percent as long as you can see it and make a new layer on which we will trace the tv sketch before tracing though make sure you have the recorder docker if you don't have it on your screen you can find it underneath settings dockers and then recorder Having said that, as you can see, you have to choose your recording folder, the format, and how often to record. I have set mine to be every second, and the size to be the size of the canvas. Now, you can hit the record button and start tracing over your low opacity layer, uh, basically using the new layer you just created. Choose the verse you want and don't be afraid to use Ctrl and Z if you make any mistake and uh, I have to tell you I did make a bunch of mistakes and I was using Ctrl and Z. Along with that, I also was uh, rotating my canvas. You can do that with shortcut 4, uh, 5 and 6. Uh, that will not be recorded on your time lapse. After the tracing is done, make sure you hide your sketch layer from the eye icon and you can stop your recording. And now you can export it. Choose a folder and a name for your time lapse video. Twitter will collapse all the images that are recorded for you and it will export that into a video. But first you need to tell, tell Twitter where to export that video and what will be the name. After the export is done, hit remove recordings. That way, the next time you want to record a time lapse, it will start from, from, from zero, from fresh. Uh, we are almost done though. So that button there removing the recordings did not remove the recording you just did. So don't worry about that. Once the export is done, you can find the folder that you chose to, um, to record the, the, to export the final time lapse. And before we move to the video editing program, make sure you have a still image of your finished sketch that we did. And also grab a background that we're gonna project our time lapse. In this case, I have my background from the 3D animation, which is this one. I'm gonna use that to project my time lapse on top of it. So I will be using the video resolve, but you can use any other video editing program as long as you can edit videos in that program. That's 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 enough. Uh, once we have all of the ingredients, as the time lapse video, the background that we're gonna project that time lapse, the still image, and the rest of the free animation, we can open our video editing program. In this case, that's resolve for me. And I'm gonna go to the edit tab and I can also drop it drum I can also drag and drop the files there and I can start uh, editing them. So the first thing you want to have on the um, on the bottom uh, the first view, which in this case will be the background image that will transition <laughs> that will transition to the actual free animation which is this one over here, for me at least. Uh, you may want to use a different image, different background image. Uh, and then on top of that, I will put the time-lapse video. Time-lapse video, uh, it's, um, as, as we can play it, you can see the, the tracing that we did is great. Uh, there are a couple, like, it plays fine, but, it has a background, it has a white background. And also, if you pay attention, you can see the sketch layer beneath. So we need to remove that as well. So how to do that? Still select the recording clip, go to color tab of the ratio zone. And on the curve section, 
we can make our points do this sort of S shape. And now if I zoom in, you will see that I don't, I barely, the, like the sketch that we um, see usually, is not there. But we can, when we script through, we can actually see the lines uh, coming together and uh, making this TV uh, a TV, even though like, I, I know, I know it looks like a microwave. I, I do realize this right now, but uh, I'm <laughs> what can I say? And it, it gets a microwave TV, okay? Okay. Uh, but yeah, once we uh, adjust the, the curves over here on our recording uh, clip, the sketch beneath disappears and we can play it on. and uh yeah that's that's pretty much it you can do this with anything else uh again it's important to have a graphic tablet in order for you to draw on top of the drawings you want um and uh, yeah and you can do this cool effect and um instead of tracing that with a pen tool in after effects you can do it by hand and uh, obviously that will depend on how fast of a drawer you you are uh, how good you are with a pen, but practice, practice uh, makes it makes perfect, as they say. So, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, I just want to recap this very quickly in case you have any trouble. Z, hopefully, you won't. But here's my adventure resolve here. I have three elements of this I have a background, that I'm gonna project my time lapse, I have the time lapse, and I have the finished image or animation. Uh, what you need to do though is to go to edit and by default this is uh, hidden and uh, I did play around here and uh, ignore that <clears throat> uh, so, so what you need to do is to open your inspector which is very important there is nothing here to inspect but once I start uh, dropping the background to my timeline then I have a couple of uh, transform stuff and options that I can play around. This is here is a, an image. So the next thing I will want is the time lapse on top of that image. Now, because we have a white background, we have a fill color on this video, right? You cannot make a video with transparent color, okay? So you need to have any color. Uh, this works well when you have your time lapse to be completely white and then you use completely black for your lines so make sure you do that in Krita, right that's why i said to not change the uh, the, the background there uh, just make sure you pick the right color i don't think it's completely black but i, I think it is uh, I th in this case though i haven't lowered my sketch layer completely to three percent because it's hard to see uh this is maybe six or seven percent i don't know either way we can still work with this so if this on top of our background we can make the for them to be the exact same length or uh, in the video just now <laughs> earlier i showed you that you can uh, speed up your time lapse it's already speed up to a degree but you can speed that up more change the right button on the clip that you want to change the speed and always change the speed and um, you can do this 200% click change and then you see that after it plays it disappears so this is fine now we have this here selected and we have our inspector open you go down to the composite mode which I didn't say that so that's why I'm making this part. You go down to the composite mode and you can play around with the comp composite mode uh, the way it will work for you so just press add and then use the wheel of your mouse the mouse wheel and as you can see it's all right it, it's perfect right uh now if you have if you have to use this background obviously the dark lines of the background don't really work but you can change your background that's why i go here open vfx vffx vfx Kevin and on the search bar I will search for invert invert color and I can drag and drop here on my background so the background will be inverted and now we have black completely black lines with no sketch beneath them playing on our uh, background here which is completely which, <laughs> which is what we want but in case you want to do the exact opposite either you can let's say there's a couple ways you can do that either you can combine these right button select them 
combine them with the right button. Say hello world. I don't know. And then we can play this effect again. And then you have the reverse effect. In this case, I didn't have to go and play with the with the curves. But let's say you have to do this. You have to invert your time lapse, for example, because you won't have uh, um, <laughs> white lines. Usually, in this case, uh, for the white uh, lines, I I go to add the composite mode for my time lapse to be add, and then I go to color, and then on this curves. I lower the darks like this, and then we can go back here to edit, and there's no sign of that sketch layer. And then I can just continue with this to reveal my uh, drawing in this case. It can be an animation, and I can make it like this. And uh, we got this with like uh, like uh, like lines lines. Oh my god, kids! <laughs> anyway, that's 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 the. In any case, I didn't spray it properly. Inspector and this and that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you have any trouble, make sure you uh, write a comment down below. And uh, that's gonna be all for me, kids. Uh, make sure if you like this video, obviously like it. If you want more uh, of these types of videos, do subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.